welcome back boys and girls so again we are going to solve the paper which we uh, were solving in our previous video and today inshallah we will start question 2 of the same paper the paper is May June 2023 so I'm directly jumping towards question 2 of the same paper here in this paper he says that chlorine is a reactive element and it forms many compounds and then he says that complete complete the table 2.1 to show the maximum oxidation number of the elements in sodium to phosphorus in their chlorides so typically is asking about the chlorides so we know that sodium always involves its one electron to make sodium chloride that's why the oxidation state of sodium is plus one in this case and so on if we keep moving what we can say the oxidation state of sodium plus one magnesium involves two of its electron from its outermost shell so plus two plus three plus four plus five although phosphorus has the chloride that is pcl3 but the question he says that the maximum oxidation so pcl3 which is plus 3 is not the maximum so that's why we go for the plus 5 now he says that state what determines the maximum oxidation number as i discussed these are the valence shell electrons so what we can say valence shell electrons these are determining what the oxidation state of all of these period 3 elements of the, in their chlorides. I hope you got it. Next part, he says that an excess of cold water is added to the chlorides of, chloride of silicon. So in that scenario, we know that the oxidation state of chlorine is plus, sorry silicon in the chloride is plus 4 so this will give us the formula SiCl4 when it reacts with the cold water hydrolysis takes place and it produces silicon dioxide or silicon four oxide along with the hydrochloric acid to make it balance just place 4 to make chlorine balance and now to make hydrogen balance place two here okay so everything is balanced now due to the presence of HCl which is a strong acid so pH will be lower and it could be one two three or four but remember you have to write any one value like I am mentioning one here okay next part In the next part he says that an excess of cold water is added to the chloride to the chloride of phosphorus so let me select so that I can write and you can easily see what I am writing and what you have to write how to make the strong expression write an equation for the reaction between an excess of cold water and the chloride of phosphorus so as we discussed the maximum oxidation state is 5 for phosphorus so it will be PCL5 reacting with water so again hydrolysis reaction takes place and this will give us actually the oxide of phosphorus which will immediately dissolve in water giving us H3PO4 plus due to the presence of Cl we will get HCl to make it balance as there are five chlorines so I am placing five here that give us 5 chlorine but 5 hydrogen plus 3 total 8 hydrogens to make it balance I am placing 4 so rest of the equation is balanced suggestion of the pH what we can say due to the presence of the strong acid again I can say the pH will be 1 then next he says write an equation for the reaction of chlorine with water so this time just chlorine and we are taking H2O as a cold water what we will get we will get HOCl or HClO both are fine along with we will get HCl the equation is perfectly balanced no need to disturb this 
Then finally is asking write an equation for the reaction of chlorine with hot sodium hydroxide. In this scenario we are going to write NCl2 plus NaOH. This will give us NaCl plus NaClO3 plus H2O. Again to make it balance remember we have to place 6 here and 3 here and then rest of the equation we have to make it balanced separately. The concept why I placed 6 immediately and 3 here is involve the disproportionation and balancing of equation by using oxidation numbers but right now I'm not going to discuss that. Later on if we have that type of the question inshallah I will discuss but right now we are just trying to balance it in the short time. So to make other components balance just place 5 here this will make chlorine sodium and chlorine both balance. Rest we have to make hydrogen balance so here you have to take 3 that makes hydrogen 6. So every uh, else every other thing is balanced in this equation. Moving the next part he says bleach is used as a cleaning product to kill bacteria. So right he says that identify the formula of the ion present. So if I just ionize this compound NaCl what we got Na and ClO with one negative charge. Sodium ion are not the bleaching uh, what we can say ions. So what should be the bleaching ion? It should be ClO negative. So we are going to write this ion. Okay. If you write an aqueous form this should be much better. Otherwise ClO1 negative is fine. Then he says sodium chloride chlorate 1 react with hydrogen peroxide and is demanding for the equation. So he clearly mentioned what are the reactant this one and the hydrogen peroxide. So NaClO plus H2O2. So these two are the reactants. Then he is saying producing sodium chloride which is NaCl plus producing water so the formula is H2O plus getting oxygen so the formula is O2. If we check the equation is perfectly balanced so no need to disturb. Is that clear? Now keep this equation in your mind because it is going to help in our next part. Here this is the calculation part and in this calculation part he is saying that let me select so that I can write okay here he says that sodium sorry sample of bleach W contains an unknown concentrated concentration of sodium chlorate which has the formula of NaClO first of all I'm writing the equation again NaClO that is reacting with the hydrogen peroxide here here hydrogen peroxide formula H2O2 and we learn above that it is going to produce NaCl plus H2O and plus oxygen gas. Now equation is balanced. Make the sequence and learn the sec sequence that he says took one how much 10 centimeter cube of W dilute it to 100 centimeter cube. So initially we have 10 centimeter cube that we diluted into 100 centimeter cube. Then out of that 100 we took how much? He says we took 25 centimeter cube. Okay. Then we titrated this 25 centimeter cube he says excess added to an excess of hydrogen peroxide and the volume of the gas produced. In this scenario the volume of the gas produced is what? 42 centimeter cube and then he says that we repeat it and again the same result the average 25 centimeter cube of the bleach uses and produces 42 centimeter cube. 
So make the ratio, we have oxygen here, we have sodium chloride bleach here, which have the mole ratio of 1, ratio 1. So first of all, I'm going to find the moles of oxygen. How? By taking the volume of the oxygen gas, dividing it by 24,000 centimeter cube, which is the molar gas volume. So this will give us the answer. Let me calculate by using calculator. So it's 42 divided by 24,000 giving us 1.75 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles. Remember the unit as well. So how much mole? This much mole is produced uh, for oxygen. Now if you make the ratio which is the exactly the same ratio. So what gonna be the values moles of sodium chloride chlorate? it will be the same like 1.75 times 10 to the power minus 3 mole the reason behind same mole ratio same molar ratio if you write that it will help you a lot okay now keep it in mind as we discussed initially the volume was taken 10 diluted to 100 and then out of 100 we took 25 so now these moles were actually present in 25 centimeter cube so in 25 centimeter cube how much volume sorry how much moles are present 1.75 times 10 to the power minus 3 but actually the volume total volume was 100 so how much moles will be present in 100 just make the cross multiplication this will give you the answer 100 times 1.75 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 25 when you do all these in your calculator so I have the answer 1.75 times 10 to the power 3 then multiply the answer with 100 and then divide the answer by 25 I got 7 times 10 to the power minus 3 mole now these are the original moles but we are not requiring the moles we are requiring concentration how to convert the concentration uh, moles into concentration we use the formula C equals to mole divided by volume but the volume should be converted into decimeter cube so the moles are now 7 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by how much 10 which was the original volume but that should be in dm cube so I'm going to divide it by 1000 and finally as we are requiring the concentration in grams so but in this formula the value we will get will be mole per dm cube okay so this value the answer will be in mole per dm cube now final step is that multiply the whole answer with the molar mass of the compound this will give you the final answer in gram per dm cube gram per dm cube so now i just require the mr let me calculate here mr of naclo this is what we have one chlorine atom which is 23 please use the exact values from your periodic table there might be a chance of the decimals so our answer might or may not match okay so please use your exact values from your periodic table attached in your uh, paper so na is 23 cl is 35.5 plus oxygen is 16 let me calculate this uh, this is what 23 times 35.5 uh, sorry not time plus plus and then plus 16 the answer I got is 74.74.5 MR now this is 74.5 when you multiply this with this value let me do this multiply by the answer I got is 7 times 10 to the power minus 3 
and then this is going to be divided by 10 which is further divided by 1000 so the final answer which I am getting is 52.15 52.15 approximately we can say 52.2 gram per dm cube up till three decimal sorry up till three significant figures is that clear i hope you understand how i calculated if you have any query you may ask in the comment section i will try my best to explain it again as per your query so we'll meet again inshallah with the question three explanation and description Take care till then. We'll see you. Bye-bye.